The following presentation is brought to you by the Realm Network. This edition of Beauty and the Beast, and Sarah Rusi is back this week, the co-host of the show. Now, Sarah, you were a big no-show last week. No warning, no nothing. What what happened? Tell everybody what happened last week, because everybody was very disappointed. Scott got all dressed up, St. Patty's Day regalia. He had green hair and everything for you. He wanted to surprise you, and no, Sarah. And everybody was really disappointed. Tell what happened last week, Sarah. Well, I had a photo shoot, and it was um, scheduled like the morning of. But I just like forgot to like tell you. It just totally slipped my mind that it was Thursday. <laughs> yeah, me and Scott, you were really disappointed last week, right? Yeah, but I'm okay now. You're okay. You got over it, Scott. You got over yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Right. Now listen, Sarah. You and I need to talk. Because I'm, I'm a little concerned. I got some very late night text messages from you. Mm -hmm. And I want to go over a couple of them because I think we need to talk. Okay. All right. Now, you, you, you text me last night, and here's what you said to me. Because I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. You said to me, I don't want to do an episode if I'm not interviewing someone with a big following. It is not going to get a good viewing if it's just me and Scott. I was under the impression that you would help us get guests to interview. I thought that's what you said in one of the episodes. I wanted to interview Johnny Fairplay, but he isn't available this week. He said he's around next week. Now, can you can you just elaborate on that? Because I think I think you and me have two different um visions of what this show is because here's my vision this is the beauty and the beast this is the Sarah Russi Scott Casey Gale show this is not the Vince Russo show I'm, I'm, I'm only the network executive I've been coming on the first couple of episodes because I want to help you guys out but I don't plan on being here so basically Sarah what what a lot of this is going to depend on and you too Scott yeah. It's going to depend on the personalities of Scott Casey Gale and Sarah Rusi. That's what's going to carry the show. Listen, the first show, we did about 1,000 viewers. We had no guest. Everybody loves Scott, you know, you know, Sarah, because he's been on for a little longer. But everybody's warming up to you. Everybody likes you. And, you know, I just want you to understand this is the Beauty and the Beast show. This isn't the Vince Russo show. This isn't the Who Are We Going to Interview show. You guys are the co-host of the show. You need to be the meat and potatoes of the show. Do you understand that? Yes. Yeah, but I think, like, it would help if we had, like, a guest who has been, like, on reality TV or, like, has done something in the industry so that we can, like, talk to them and interview them. And you know what, Sarah? Listen, and be, listen, let's be totally honest with each other here. I agree with you. I agree with you a thousand percent. Uh, I, I've got a lot of names of people we can bring on. I absolutely agree with you, but let's, let's be honest. I, I brought Disco, you know, on here a couple of weeks ago. I had Jeff Lane on here a couple of weeks ago. And Sarah, you know, kind of like after one or two questions, like you didn't have anything else to ask them. So like that that, that kind of tells me, it, it makes me ask myself the question, are we ready to interview more high-profile people yet at this point? If it's like after one or two questions, like so, you, you know, you're not even sure what to ask them. I'm just looking to protect Judy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like I didn't know um, 
like beforehand like the guests that you were bringing on to the show so I didn't know really what to ask them that, that that's fair enough but but Sarah here's the thing that that's fair enough and I understand you completely but Sarah here's the thing I'm gonna teach you and Scott Casey Gale a phrase Scott are you ready for a phrase I'm gonna teach you yes all right Sarah this is the this is the podcasting business and Sarah I don't know if you know it or not okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna I don't know if Scott knows it or not and knowing is half the battle <laughs> Sarah, have you ever heard of Podcast One? Yeah. Okay, we, the, the brand is going to be starting on Podcast One on April 5th. So, so I'm going to be on Podcast One, which is a huge, huge, huge stage for the brand. Hundreds and thousands of people that have never heard us before. Sarah, we put up a brand new website. Your picture is on the website. The Beauty and the Beast, the show is on the website. Scott, your picture is on the website. Yeah. We're about to go in front of a mass audience, and every week I'm going to drive that audience to the website. So, Sarah, they're going to see the show. They're going to listen to the show. So th this is a big opportunity. But that's why, Sarah, like you brought up to me, um, you know, I really didn't know who I was interviewing. I, I understand that. But in podcasting, Here's, here's a trick I got to teach you to. Sometimes you got to take chicken shit and turn it into chicken salad. You know what I mean, Scott? Yeah. A lot of times, Sarah, like I'll come on here and I'll interview somebody and I'll be honest with you, they'll, they'll suck. They'll suck. I can't get anything out of them. So that's why, you know, at that point, like, I got to take over the interview. I got to make chicken salad out of chicken shit, and I got to drive the interview with my personality. So that's why in these very early episodes, I, I want to get the, your personality across. I want to get Scott's personality across because we have to develop this show that people tune in to see you. The guest is a bonus. The guest is a bonus. Sarah and Scott are the stars of this show. You understand what I'm saying, Sarah? Mm-hmm. I just think sense? it would help, like, to find someone with like a bigger following because a thousand views isn't really like a lot of views, you know. So, but like, Sarah, it would help us not, get our name not, out there. It's not a lot of views, but you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, I know. I feel like we've like done like a few episodes, and like we like should have someone to interview now. They want results now. They want everything now. They don't want to wait. They want to see something right away. But you've had two people to interview. Yeah, I know. Like, but I'm just saying. Like, I don't like see like the point of just like doing an episode if like there's no one to like talk to. Like, with just us, like, I thought, like, the point of this was, like, to interview people. But, Sarah, the, you, it's the Beauty and the Beast show. It's not the person you're interviewing show. It's the Beauty and the Beast show. Sarah, you know who Howard Stern is? Yeah. Okay, I'm a huge Howard Stern fan. I don't tune into the Howard Stern show. I don't care who his guests are. I, I'm, that's not why I'm tuning into the show. I'm tuning into the show to listen to Howard Stern, and a lot of times Howard Stern does not have any guests. It's Howard Stern and his co-host Robin Quivers, and a lot of times they talk for hours and hours and hours. There's no guest, so I, you know, I mean, I, I, I if, if, it, let me put it to you this way: if you're going to depend on a guest every week. Couldn't we get anybody then to interview them? What, I mean, like, what's the importance of you and Scott if it's just going to be anybody interviewing a guest? At that point, I could get anybody, right? Well, I just think that, like, um, before we, like, have, like, a bigger viewing audience, then, like, we should get, like, people to interview because it would help, and then they would promote it and... That would help us. I understand that, but listen, work with me. Don't you think first we should get out the kinks a little bit with you, you and Scott working together as co-hosts? I guess. I think like I I wasn't like bad at interviewing them. I feel like 
I just didn't know like who was coming on the show. No, so, so I, I understand that. No, I, I, I hear you completely. Trust me, what you're saying is right. But I think I think I think here's what you're missing. Okay? And I want to do this today. It's very, 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 very important to the show. Sarah, some of my shows I have a guest, and Scott will tell you. Some of my shows I don't have a guest. It doesn't matter. You know why, Sarah? Because at the end of the day, I'm selling Vince Russo. And this show is Beauty and the Beast. I want Sarah Russi and Scott Casey Gale to be the draw. And whoever you have as a guest, I mean, that that's gravy. we got to build a chemistry with you two so they're tuning in to see you. Scott's got a huge following. Scott's got a lot of fans out there since, since he's been doing this show. You've only been on for a couple of episodes. You're, fil you're, you're building a fan base. So can you understand... I want to I want to build the chemistry between you and Scott because Sarah say one week I can't get a guest. We're not going to have a show? I don't know. <laughs> All right Sarah listen, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do because we got to get ready. We just can't bring big guests on. We got to get ready for big guests. I got to make sure that you and Scott have a chemistry. All right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave because I, I don't plan on being here all the time. I'm just, I'm just producing to help you out at the beginning. I'm going to leave literally for five minutes because <laughs> no. I want to see the chemistry between yeah. you and Scott. You, you, Vince isn't here. The guest hasn't arrived it yet. You and Scott have to talk for five minutes. We, we got to get that down. Before I could, bro, if you and Scott can't work with each other, you're not going to be able to work with each other when there's a, somebody in interview. So I'm literally going to leave for five minutes. I'm going to let you and Scott have a conversation. Okay, the two of you is alone. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask the, both of you how you felt it went. Is that fair enough, Scott? Is that yeah. fair? Yes. And you have some things yeah. to talk to Sarah about, right? Yeah. Okay, Sarah, is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. Five minutes. I'm going. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What so, made you become a lingerie model? Um, well, I wanted to do it um, since I was 12, or like 13, something like that. And, um, and I just thought it would be like a fun way to make some money, you know. And how long have you been doing it? Well, I've been doing it for... Um, about five years now. I started when I was 18. I kind of started when I was 17. I did like some photo shoots then, but I got like serious about it when I was 18. And um, like, what what else do you do besides lingerie modeling? Well, I've done some acting, and I'm looking to get into that more. I'm, I want to do reality TV. Yeah. Um, I used to bartend. I used to bartend a few years oh. ago. Oh, where, where at? Um, at a um, comedy venue in Boston. Mm. And like, have you ever been in any big time movies, like big screen movies or big TV movies? No, <laughs> just small things, not anything major. So where did you say you were from? I'm from McHenry, Illinois. Oh, okay. Is that um, close to Chicago? Yeah, it's about an hour away from Chicago. Oh, okay. I've never been to Chicago. Yeah, it's it's really fun. it's really fun, especially when they have their wrestling events done and all kinds of other things. Um, have you been to Boston? I uh, know I ha haven't been to Boston. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, have you been to the West Coast? Um, like which part of the West Coast? So it's like anywhere on the the West Coast. Um, like LA, Vegas. I've been yeah, I've been to Las Vegas. Like in 2007, I was in Las Vegas. Oh okay. How'd you like it? It was fun. I wish I could go down there again. And I've been to Arizona a couple of times. And it was oh, really fun. Oh okay. So if you could um interview anyone on here, who would you interview? Will like, who Field. would you have? As a... <laughs> Or Michael Rappaport. I have two of them. 
Why Michael Rappaport? Uh, he's funny. I, I, I just like him a lot. I, I like the way he talks. Oh, okay. Uh, some, somebody just came in. Yeah, someone just entered. <laughs> hey, are, you Hi. Guys the, are you guys the uh, tax experts? Yeah, I, I guess. Um, the Beauty and the Beast show. Wait, hold on. <laughs> somebody told me you guys did like a tax show. Like to help people with their taxes. Right. No. No. <laughs> um, no. You, you guys can't like help me figure out the best deductions for my tax taxes this year? Yeah, I, I'm not, and I'm not good at do, that solving taxes. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, hold on, let me see. I, somebody gave me this link and told me that you guys did tax... You guys really can't help me? I know. Sorry. Oh, man. I really need help with what deductions for my... Oh, man. <laughs> uh, man, this pisses me off. I can't believe somebody screwed with me and gave me the wrong thing. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Okay. Uh, well, why don't you sign out? Because this isn't like we're not helping you with your taxes. Get the hell out of here! Get the hell out of here! Wait, wait, wait. Get the hell out of here! Get the fuck out of here! And don't you come back! You guys can't help me. What about like my four hundred one k? I can't ask you any questions about that. No. I think you just want to look at me in my lingerie. Oh, snap! I think that's why you're... <laughs> you're I staying on here. I can't even see anything but your face. Really? Yeah. But, whatever. Okay, that was... <laughs> he, is he a member, was he a member of the band, that guy? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so, what were you asking me before he came in? Um, well, I think I asked you about, um, the people you wanted to interview. Like, Will Phil and Michael Rappaport, because I just like the way Michael Rappaport talks. I would like, like to interview Eric Bischoff one of these days, too. Oh, okay. Um, so I spoke to, um, Johnny Fairplay, like Vince, mm. um, brought that up, and he said he That's... would want to do the show next week. Um, that's interesting. Are you a fan of his? Um, Johnny who? <laughs> Johnny Fairplay. Johnny Fairplay. I, I, I've heard the name, but I don't really watch him that much. Uh, he did Survivor and TNA. I thought you were a wrestling fan. Oh, yeah, TNA. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't watched TNA stuff. Oh, okay. All right, guys, I'm back. Yeah. How, 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 how did it go? Let, let's start with Scott first. Scott, how, without me here, you and the co-host... Yeah. We're getting ready to bring on big guests. I know Sarah said something to me about Johnny Fairplay, and 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 Sarah, I know Johnny Fairplay. I so know him too. You think, yeah, if you <laughs> think the chemistry is good, I can buzz him, and I can say, Johnny, please, you know, do their show. They're good guys. We want to get a following. I could buzz him. So Scott, let me ask you, how do you think it went? I think it went very well. I was asking what what how, what got into lingerie and stuff like that. You were asking her how she gets into her lingerie. No, no. What made it to become a lingerie model? Oh, okay. All right. All right. And, and Sarah, how do you think it went? I think it went well. Um, I just asked him um, a few like questions, like uh, where he's from and who he would like to interview. And then um, some guy like came into the nice. the show. You weren't watching. What are you talking? I was I, I I let my I was outside with my dog for a couple minutes. What happened? Um, this guy just like entered the call and he was like, "Oh, do you guys help with taxes?" And I'm like, "No." What? I don't know. You just like um, my friend sent me this link and said that you guys help with taxes, and I'm like, "No, we don't help with taxes." Did you guys, Scott? Did you send one of your bozo friends the link? I uh, know, not at all. Was it Cody Brainer? No, it was some guy named Blake. I, I have no idea who that guy is. And he want to know about taxes? Yeah. <laughs> and you didn't send it to him, Scott. No. Because I know you're a clown, Scott. Yeah, but no, 
I did not send it to him. It was his name is um Blake <laughs> Mit Mitchum or whatever his name was. And he wanted to know about taxes. Yeah, and I know nothing about taxes. I'm, I I don't know I anything friend, about taxes. Ta ta Sarah, do you I, you I know nothing about taxes. Do you, Sarah? I guess I'm not gonna help him with taxes. Sarah, let me ask you this: Did you learn anything about Scott uh, that you didn't know before? Um. Well, I forgot before where he uh, said he lived. So, right. um, I I learned that he's a uh, Michael Rappaport fan. Oh God, we all know <laughs> that. We we know that to nausea. Uh, Scott with Michael Rappaport already. We all know that. <laughs> you want to hear some interesting, uh, Scott? This is interesting, Sarah. Because see, see, this is what I mean. Like when I uh, Scott came on before you. Right, Sarah. Scott and I have to start talking. I haven't talked to Scott in a week. I don't. I don't. You know, what do I talk to Scott about? Scott, tell Sarah what you're all excited about today, which I think is very interesting. Maybe Sarah wants to be a part of it. Tell her. Um, bean booze. I I got some bean booze out today. What's and, that? And tell, tell her what's going on with that. It's a, you're supposed to do a challenge. Um, like there's um skunk flavor. There's um. There's um baby cream fl flavor. There's all these. There's black licorice. There's dirty sweat socks. You said. Yeah, seven like dirty sweat socks. Sarah, what what Scott's saying is that it, it's it's Bean Boozled Day, and this new company came out with this line of jelly beans, like skunk flavored, dirty sweat socks flavored, uh, baby baby lotion flavored. And they're having a contest today for the person who could eat the most. And Scott's gonna sit there and eat like skunk flavored jelly beans. Scott don't. Scott's an animal. Scott will eat anything that you put in front of him. Is that a fair assessment, Scott? Oh my God. Yeah, but you're not supposed to eat the whole body. I think you're only supposed to eat like 20 pieces. 20 pieces. Now, Sarah, if somebody put skunk flavored jelly beans in front of you, would you? In your wildest imaginations, taste one. Well, what would the prize be? What's the? Yeah, that's a good question, Sarah. There you go. What's the prize, Scott? I mean, I mean you just you're, you're just supposed to like eat like twenty pieces. But the, you what? don't you don't you don't win anything, Scott? No. So why are you gonna eat eat sweat sock jelly beans if you're not gonna win anything? And um, it's it's just a challenge. It's just for fun. Scott, listen. Repeat yeah. after me. Yeah. I'm going to eat skunk jelly beans. Go ahead, say it. Skunk jelly beans. Because I'm a freaking wacko. Because I'm a freaking wacko. Thank you. Now, Sarah, would you eat a skunk jelly bean? No. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. Now, Sarah, you see the way we just created that conversation? Yeah. Yeah, well, that, 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 that's all that I'm saying. I just wanted to see a little bit more with you and Scott getting to know each other, break the ice without Vince here. I, uh, I, I I think you did a good job based on what you said. I'm going to go back and listen. I don't know what you guys are talking about with a tax guy. I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I think it was probably one of Scott's buddies playing a prank. Scott, uh, you don't know who it was. No, but I thought he was a member of the band or something. He, he just came in. He I, just I didn't came in and went out just like that, like Flash Gordon. Yeah, he, he, he was like asking about, um, do we know anything about taxes? He had a bunch of um, crosses on as well. Okay, I don't know. All right, Sarah, where did you leave it with Johnny Fairplay? Tell me where you left it now. Well, he told me to reach him on Wednesday and um, just um, next week. But uh, like, he sounded like that. he wanted to do it. It sounded like he did? Yeah, he said, um, I asked him, do you want to um, do the show? And he was like, uh, when do you guys record it? I like, I've met him before and... Um, so I think he's he would definitely do it. Did you tell him it was on this network? Because he knows me as well. Yeah, I said it was with Vince Russo. Okay, I I'm, I'll do this, Sarah. See, because a lot of times you got to be careful, and you too, Scott. You know, whenever you listen, you guys can book whoever you want for this show. It doesn't have to be a wrestler. It doesn't have to be a celebrity. I bring on a lot of people on this show. When I go on Twitter, you got Sarah. You're on Twitter a lot, right? Yeah. Scott, are you on Twitter a lot or not really? Yeah, yes. Yeah, guys, this is what I do. I'm being honest with you. When I go on Twitter and I think somebody's interesting, I'll start talking to them. I'll bring them in as a guest on the show. I don't care if they're well-known or not because I know I could have a, a, a good conversation with them. 
that's what you should start looking for interesting people but Sarah you gotta be careful let me tell you why just, and I'm just trying to teach you the ropes when a guy like Johnny tells you on Wednesday you gotta be careful with cutting it so close because if he says on Wednesday he can't do it then you're screwed you know what I mean yeah so so Sarah this is what I'm gonna do I will touch base with Johnny because I know we follow each other on Twitter I will touch base with him by Monday and I will ask him if he, if he can do the show um, because if, if, if he says no that gives me a couple of days to find you somebody else is that fair enough yeah that sounds fair okay Scott is that fair enough yes now Scott just so you know you might want to do a little research Scott do you ever watch Survivor um, I watch him like once or twice by the end when he like watch the whole episode Okay, that's where Johnny Fairplay is known from. He, he, he was on the reality series Survivor. Yeah. He was a big star on that series, Scott. He, uh, he told a story that his grandmother had died, so everybody <laughs> would feel sorry for him, and yeah. he wouldn't get voted off the island, but we found out he was lying. His grandmother was alive and well. He made it all up. That's his claim to fame. But also, Scott, so you know, Johnny Fairplay was on TNA Wrestling, and he's a big wrestling fan, Scott. So, like, you could talk wrestling with him. Yeah. All right? Sarah, yeah. anything else you want to tell Scott about Johnny Fairplay in hopes that we get him next week? Um, well, let me think. He, he got into a fight on um, the Fox Reality Awards, which also he's, he was um, well known for, I guess. It was pretty big. I think I got like a million views on YouTube. Yeah, Sarah, you, you, that's right. I, who was it with? I don't remember, but I remember. I know what you're talking about. Who was the fight with? I don't remember. Danny Bonaducci. Danny, oh God, Danny Bonaducci would kill Johnny Fair playing a fight. Scott, you know who Danny Bonaducci is? Yeah, the, isn't that the, the Partridge family? Yeah, he was on the Partridge family, yeah. and now he he had a reality show, and now he does radio. I worked with Donnie ben, Do, Danny Bonadu. He's a badass man. He, I mean, and he's got a temper. You know what, Sarah? That might be a good guest to work on. Oh, Dan, Danny Bonaduce? Absolutely. You know what I mean? I would love to interview him. Yeah. Sarah, you can I tell you something? Can we be honest with each other, me and you? Because I think we always are. Okay. okay? You are so beautiful, and Sarah, I, I, I don't, I hope you don't mind me telling you that, because you know, I'm a 55 year old man. I've been married for 32 years. I look at you like you're my daughter. You're 23, right, Sarah? Yeah, I'm 23. Yeah, when I tell you like you're beautiful, what I mean by that is like you, God gave you a gift of beauty. You're a beautiful woman, you know. Scott, is Sarah beautiful? Very beautiful. On a scale of <laughs> one to ten, what is Sarah? An, a, 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 a ten. A ten, okay. Uh, Sarah, you got to use your beauty to your advantage. You know what I mean? I do. All right, but I'm just because <laughs> I'm sure you have to do in your line of work. You know, modeling and getting jobs. You got to use your beauty, right? Yeah. That's why I think you'll be able to get guests easily. You know, when they see how beautiful you are, and you're, you're see, Sarah, a lot of people, a lot of girls like you, as beautiful as you. This is what I like about you. A lot of girls as beautiful as you, they're stuck up. You know what I'm saying? You can't have a conversation with them. Their noses are in the air. They're conceited. You're beautiful, but you're so nice. That That's a rare combination. You know what I mean, Sarah? Thank you. Yeah, no. Wouldn't you agree with that, Scott? Yes. She's nice, right, Scott? She's the whole package. Definitely, 100%. Yeah, Scott, we're not interrupting you for having conversations on your phone or anything, are we? No. All right. Now, Scott, do you think you can use your beauty to help get a guest on the show? Yes. I, are you going to do that? Yes. All right. All right. So, Sarah, now do we have a better understanding of each other, me and you? Yeah. All right. Good. So, Sarah, here, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to reach out to Johnny on Monday because Wednesday's too late. I, I, if Johnny doesn't work out, I want to get somebody else, and I want to give you enough time, like you said, and I agree with you, so you could do a little re research and interview the person, okay? Okay. So I will I will reach out to you guys on Monday after, after I hear yeah. back from Johnny. I'll let you know if he's going to be the guest or not, but if not, I will have somebody else for the both of you. Okay. okay. Fair enough? Yeah. yeah, Sarah, you're you're not working next week. I mean, Sarah, like, is it possible? Like, do you get jobs where like you got to go in two or three days? 
Um, sometimes if I'm working like a convention, but I don't think I'm doing anything next Thursday. Okay, no. well, you, you'll you'll let me know if you are. I'll let you know. All right, all right. Listen, Scott, Sarah, Beauty and the Beast. I'm glad we had this talk today. We got we got to we got to take it to the next level. I'm glad you two spoke to each other with me out of the room. I'm very yes. proud of the both of you. And uh, you plug the show during the week too. That's what you got to do. You got to plug the show during the week. Sarah and Scott, make sure that you go to Russo's, R-U-S-S-O-S, Russo'sBrand.com. That's the new website. You'll see your show is promoted on there. Sarah, there's a picture of you on there. There's a picture of Scott on there. We're just starting to promote this thing, all right? Okay. All right. Scott, good? Yes. All right. Listen, Scott, don't eat too many skunk jelly beans, all right? <laughs> All right, listen, Scott Casey Gale, Sarah Rusi, Beauty and the Beast. We will be back next week, hopefully with Johnny Fairplay. But if not Johnny Fairplay, I promise to have a guest for both Sarah and Scott. I'll see the both of you next week. See you next week. All right, take care. All right, bye. Bye. bye.